my friends. Welcome to Making Clouds with Mudflap. Yeah, we're outside again. Go and figure. It's kind of nice when you get the opportunity to have a smoke outside. Uh, one with the light being, the light, the sun being up a little longer. I do have the opportunity to get out here with the dogs. And two, it's not too bad today. It's about two degrees, a little bit above zero. So, so, so. Pretty freaking nice for January. I still can't believe it. As you can see, we got no snow. A little bit of a breeze. But we thought we'd take advantage of this. The dogs are playing. Well, they're actually sniffing right now. We're not playing until I'm done, but what the hell? We might as well get into it. Here's a tree here. Hooner might be climbing it. Maybe someday I might. She's not one of them climbing trees, though. We do have lots of those in the area. Very busy middle of the week for us. It's supposed to get cold again next week. Actually going to be below zero this winter. Go figure. We're all right with that, though. I've been looking forward to it. <coughs> so, just another outside session. We don't uh, get too many of them these days. Well, and even if I stick around or grab something on the way home, it's usually too dark, and the weather has not always been cooperating. Not so much in the cold part, the rain and the just the fogginess of it all. Well, that was a pretty quick ball, wasn't it? I think we'll have to throw another one in there. Listen to uh, Pussifer's disc at work today and Rage Against the Machine. Just plugging some numbers in. Missing my uh, BC friends bad today. Don't know why, I was thinking about them a lot. Actually, a little bit of a sentimental day. Just thinking about friends and family. Missing everybody. You know, the middle of winter kind of thing, even though it doesn't feel like winter. <coughs> and I don't really get out and do stuff like I used to, as in crowds. I used to go to the London Knights games. I was, uh, I'd split on uh, season of tickets with people. I haven't been to one of those games in a year and a half. I think I'm only going to get to one NHL game this year, uh, March 10th in Detroit. Is what it is. I'm finding... The crowds are not worth the entertainment a lot of the time. I see when you can watch some stuff on TV and um, I don't have to deal with sneaking out with my cannabis. Mind you though, now that is the one thing I have to admit about the edibles that I really do enjoy is the fact that I can still have cannabis in my system, not have the craving to smoke and go in and enjoy these things. So I probably, I'm not going to say probably, I, I will get out and do some more things, but man, I do enjoy my hanging out with you guys and my wife made a very good point uh, about staying home you spend all the money on your home enter entertainment system your computers you know all the things you like you put into your home and then you go out all the time my wife's a very much a homebody and she does like to stay home and I understand why I do need to get out though I mean I not so much people out but I do need to be out <coughs> even if it's in my own yard as you can see, I'm always back here. I get out to Buddy's farm this year and throw a couple more plants in than normal, maybe. Oh. This tasted very nice for an outdoor session. Not that why, why would an outdoor session taste any different? Actually, I was a little worried my hands might be getting cold, but it's really not that bad. Keep the head warm. So I got Friday off this week. Yeah, I got an extra day off. That should be nice. I'll take Karen into town for a couple of appointments, but other than that, we don't really have any plans, so. Yeah, so we might go for a nice lunch or something. Um, worst part is, is Karen has to work Thursday night, so she's going to be up all night, and then she has her appointments in the morning, and by lunchtime, she's going to be pretty beat, so. I hate to say it, but it might work out half decent for me, and then I might be able to play hockey looking forward to possibly getting on the ice on Friday. I haven't played any Friday hockey this year. And last week, oh man, I know I kind of said I went, but I didn't really talk about the game. Uh, we lost 5-3. to three. I got two goals and an assist. And I missed an open net and hit the post. So, I had a really good game. Just uh, 
feel that my timing's off a little bit, so an extra skate here and there helps with that too a little bit, and uh, I'm doing a few more exercises these days, so should be in prime shape for the playoffs. <laughs> we don't have playoffs. We don't even have standings, actually. The uh, convener does keep track of them and gives them out at the end of the year, and we're, there's usually maybe two games difference between the top, well, there's only four teams, so, but they're usually pretty even. We started out rocking, and we've been on a losing streak lately. I need to get my dogs uh, doing the two poos in one bag uh, thing before because when they were doing that, we went five in a row. So, us hockey players are superstitious, even though I'm not, but we say we are. Because some of them are, especially goalies. They seem to like those things. I'm not one for that kind of stuff. Superstitions, and I think it's all mental. Being that today was Bell's Let's Talk uh, day about uh, mental health. So, um, I did have a brother that committed suicide be 17 years ago this year. Part of his life. Uh, son who's just two years old. Didn't see it. Well, you want to say you didn't see it coming, but when you look back, you could see the unhappiness. But I still think it's cowardly way to go <coughs> but then again if you look at it it's not just cowardly too because it takes a lot of freaking guts to pull that off um, I think I seen something on the internet last week of some 12 year old girl who hung herself or something like that the owner of my company that I work with brother just committed suicide this year so it's been brought to the forefront I couldn't even go to the funeral just because of the memories and probably not dealing properly with when my br brother passed away. And seeing how hard it was on my father. And then I can see T-Town Tim and how his, he lost his son and realize just how devastating it is. Well, then left to question everything. You go through some pretty different emotions after somebody commits suicide. You feel how you have guilt, you have anger, you have sympathy, you have regret there's just you, you go through everything uh, I was mad at one point mad at myself and then mad at him I go, why didn't you come and talk and it was a Thanksgiving weekend and he uh, went to a job site and uh, early in the morning uh, taped up his windows and hooked up his uh, tailpipe to a hose and I guess that's an easy way to go. My fear is of drowning. I don't know why. I'm just not a big water guy. <laughs> Great, huh? Living by the Great Lakes. <sighs> Anyways. Well, that was a nice little session outside. I do appreciate you guys coming and joining me for this. A little bit different than normal. Uh, I'll try and get out here a little bit more. Uh, can't promise next week because the weather's supposed to be comes he comes up a little iffy but doesn't mean uh, we get the opportunity we won't take advantage of it and hopefully on Friday I think it's supposed to be like minus one or something but we'll see what happens that day so I do actually have it off but have a lot of plans so anyways thanks for joining me a couple quick bowls some fresh air as the sun goes down <laughs> what's left of it anyways be proud of your clothes see you tomorrow